Hello everyone and welcome to a smash look at Anomaly Defenders. Raz here as always and this is a... Uh, well, you might know the Anomaly name and you might know that it's by 11-Bit Studios. These are the guys behind the really fantastic Anomaly series. I am quite the big fan of actually. Two, there is quite a few of them. Anomaly 1, Anomaly 2, there's Anomaly Korea. Now, Anomaly 2 actually had a sort of multiplayer put into it as well, which was quite a big change for the actual franchise. But links shall be down below to Anomaly 2, well, Anomaly the single player, and the multiplayer, because I did two videos of it. Now, I'd like to bear in mind for everybody watching this video, at the time of recording, it is sort of an early access, you pre-order, you kind of get access and whatnot, and I've been giving sort of access to this title to bring you guys it, so you can see what it's all about. So things may or may not change. So what makes this different from the other ones you might be asking? What makes this different? I'm just going to hover the pointer over the defenders. It does have something to do with the name, definitely. And that's because the tables have been completely flipped and it's sort of like the like multiplayer and anomaly 2 and the fact that you are the towers and you have to defend against the humans attacking and you may be thinking oh what that kind of seriously it is actually a bunch of fun um I did find easy mode a bit too easy not up to normal and you get that good balance there so, like always, we will head into the settings. Now, I've took the voice volume down because it didn't seem to, like, go down and you just had the big blasting in your ear. The music, good. Good resolution, get your graphics and whatnot. I mean, Anomaly's never been something to strain your PC, but it's always looked quite pretty. So, we'll go play a game now, shall we? Um, Glorious Comeback. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not reading that because... Basically, the until the full release is sort of out, the game allows you to play up to seven levels. Or for for what I see, I could be completely wrong, and you're actually meant to play every difficulty, and then it unlocks more. But it doesn't seem to do that. So I've played all seven levels, so I can tell you about all seven levels, and pretty much it's kind of the same. Of what actually happens? Now you get easy, normal, hard, and you get these sort of technology points. This allows you to access the technology tree. This is a big technology tree. This is a very big technology tree. You can also reset your technology if you wanted to at times. Now, it's something you might remember. Blaster, Enforcer, Behemoth. I did not like the Behemoth. To get to use the Behemoth, it's so gratifying. Anyway, everything sort of has, like, your selling, then it has extra levels. Even clicking everything gives you a good... I mean, nothing's really placeholder here. Um... Even EMP pulse, I'm using repair mostly than everything else, but I mean, you click on these, you can actually see the upgraded version of some of these, and they look awesome. The designs of the towers are always awesome. But that's your technology tree. I mean, I've got the blaster, I can upgrade it to level 3, it's also level 4. Look at that. Look at that. Same with these. It costs technology, and it tells you how much it costs. We have none at the moment. But we head back here. I would like to put a little apology if I do cough and I haven't taken it out through the editing. It's because my throat is still black. But hey, let us go. I'll start from the first one, Abandon Outpost, and I'll put it in hard just so you can see what's going on. Just to get the initial impression. Also, the music is superb. Superb. So this is you, you've got to defend the launch pads. So think of it as like when you were the humans, anyone that's played the other anomalies, but in the first ones you were the humans, you had to attack and get rid of the power and everything. Of the, uh, it was different things to affect each mission. You also do get sort of, sorry that music feels awesome. You do actually get harvester areas in different missions. You also get hazards, like envir environmental hazards. And I'll hopefully be able to show you that one during this. So, hmm, I'm going to put two blasters here. 
Also, this music reminds me very much of sort of the Transformers theme tracks, and I love them. Let's do this. Warning. Attackers approaching. That's that voice down at one. I don't know. Anyway. Probably gonna upgrade this. We got. Uh, now, the Enforcer comes with a shield. These are Gatling guns. They do take down shields, unfortunately, pretty fast. But I do know that there's. Because you don't get the Enforcer in this level. But they do have um, lovely long range guys come in to say hi. No, well we're Warning. at it. This Attackers approaching. You can pause. You can speed up. You can access the settings and that. But Casarium, I apologise if I'm saying that wrong. But this is your money, and you get that from killing stuff. And the harvester, if we had one in this level, also gives you some energy. You might be wondering, what the hell is that? Basically, that allows you to repair or use your other abilities you have. And of course, the squad is like how many squads there is in the level. And launch pad is basically the health of this that must survive. Let's continue. I want that upgraded. This is slightly bust, so we're just gonna do this. You do actually get energy. From every killed unit you get some money and you get some energy. It even gives you this lovely android who's telling you, you know, spend the energy to use special towers functions, etc. Like that. I mean, it all kind of explains itself. It gets there. It's quite Warning. nice. Attackers approaching. Well, they're going to die. Just going to speed this up. There is one thing. I wish when you speed up, there wasn't this clicking. There's no need for it. Now, some people are probably thinking, oh, you're holding this for like three towers. But do remember, it is the very first level. And I'll skip a few and we'll show you some other stuff. The shield regenerating on this, but see if you do an automatic repair, all the shields are back. But these Gatling guns get rid of shield really annoyingly fast. Like I said, that's the shield gone. I mean, the repair has a nice effect of like, if I click repair this, it also actually repairs this one as well. But this one has the added kind of bonus. Where do you think you're going? He almost got past us. Yes, I know to use repair, but I want to upgrade that. Warning, a massive attack is approaching. I actually, like, see, you can zoom right in quite nicely. And every so often, this here, like that just there, it breathes. It's like, these are live. It's, it's just a nice little subtle touch, but as always, it's sort of the orangey glow that Anomaly is quite famous for, but it looks fantastic. It always looks really, really nice. I mean, of course, it's no, like, crisis. I mean, it's a tower defense. I love tower defense. Warning. Attackers approaching. And of course, the sound assets of the lasers just feel like they have a massive impact. Hey guys, how are you doing? That shield hasn't regenerated very well. These are the Panzer Cannons. These are what was on about. They pretty much hit the shields. If these guys take out the shields, it's going to be a bit... Hmm. It gets pretty frantic, pretty fast. I mean, you go speed that up and you're not paying attention, you can say bye-bye to your units. Warning, human forces approaching. Can I upgrade that, can I upgrade again? Yes. Can I upgrade that? I could, I've had enough. Maybe try and get enough out of this.
Ooh, that hurts. That really hurts. Have enough. Warning. Yes. A massive attack is approaching. Bring it. Now I would build um one of these guys, but they cost quite a lot. 300, so I'll get to a level that has a bit more in it. And that's mostly the gist of the game. You get a nice score and, you know, the, the technology points, I almost forgot the name there, that you actually get. But sadly, you you know, you don't really get any more than what you have been given. There's not if you complete a level over and over to gain extra technology points. They all have a certain amount that you can gain, etc. Which is a bit, mm, it's a sad bit annoying, but hey, it's not too bad. Now, as as I would have pointed out, is like the options are a little bit bland, but they're suitable. Environment hazards, I'm hoping I can find the environment hazard one. This is the one actually. We'll try it in hard. Look at that, it's so pretty. It's really Right. I mean here is the harvester. Now, the harvester is also upgradable. Now nothing does Nothing will build, should I say, until you hit play. So, and I mean, you can kind of trick the enemy. I mean, there's two paths, but they tend to go for the harvester first, so you can actually bring them and force them around this way. Um, can I put a behemoth there? I could put a behemoth there. I might want to wait, though. Now, they might be good points to put something, but there's a long path there that if panzer cannons come in, they'll just nail them. We'll go with that. We'll try that. Human forces approaching. Probably a terrible idea, but we're going to find out. And this will be going, and then we'll be getting a level. Operational. Oh great! There's going to be it's going to be a meteor on top of my towers in the first few seconds. Cheers, game! You hate me so much. Oh, it's lovely Panzer cannons. Now upgrading this will actually increase the amount of money you can drag out of it. They actually see that, they do. Ow. Do you mind? See, now they can't fire at anything, Warning. but they can fire at that. Meteorite impact really? Imminent. Warning. Attackers approaching. Upgrade this, yes. That really hurt them. What have we got? More cannons. Wonderful. I'm tempted to sell this one and make it a... Uh... Oh, sell that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make it an enforcer. Hey guys! Oh crap, sell that. Warning. Meteorite impact imminent. Warning. Right. Gonna shove a behemoth there. Sell that one. Put an enforcer there. Did that just. 
You gotta love meteors. But it seems to be a lot of these guys, so hopefully. Warning. Impact imminent. Oh great. Also, I really want the soundtrack to this game. That really hurt. Actually, upgrade the beam. I think that would be a wonderful idea. These guys are higher level. Officer is picking fire. Securing installation. Warning. Attackers approaching. This doesn't mean you get the sort of environmental hazards, you have these, but the environmental hazards also affect them. That's gonna hurt a lot. Kinda doing my best to always have energy left to Warning. deal with these guys. Impact imminent. Hmm. Don't know if that was a good idea or not. Warning, impact imminent. Warning, attackers approaching. Could technically put another enforcer right behind there. Or do I, yeah, we'll put another enforcer. Pair that. That's gonna. Oh. Uh, wait, what? Seriously? No. Oh. Warning. Meteorite impact imminent. So I'm kinda try and keep the repair to a certain point where you can just be like, yes, there we go. Ow. Warning. Impact imminent. Now, I kind of was at the point where I was trying to click. I was like, why can't I click this? Click the circle. The blue circles kind of works best for it. Warning. A massive attack is approaching. What? There goes my terror. See the points like see the enforcer is like right behind there. They can't shoot this until they're like there. These guys anyway. Same with sort of like this bit maybe as well. Sort of things like that, the panzer tanks wouldn't be able to, even these wouldn't be able to shoot this until they are there. So a bit of strategy goes a long way. See they're even aiming for him, even though there's like that right there. Also, repairing one of these actually instantly brings its shield up. Oh my. Warning. Impact imminent. Now of course Warning. all them Attackers do have approaching. Shush. All them do have the abilities the same as the original games. Like the tanks themselves will have like the ability to the Gatling gun gets increasingly more powerful the more it hits. Stuff like that. There's also elite units in this, by the way. They wanna be able to hit them in the way round. Yep. Warning. 
Warning. Impact imminent. A Rusarum deposit depleted. Of course these do run out, but the enemy still wants to go towards them. Speed this Human up. forces approaching. Now we have rocket mechs. Wonderful. Not. Am I going to hit them? It might. Nope. Oh well. Warning. Meteorite impact imminent. This could hurt. Warning. Meteorite impact imminent. These meteorites hate me. Warning. Impact imminent. Warning. A massive attack is approaching. Technically, it would be better probably to sell that. And just build another one. That's right. Have the money to do so. Oh, these are all upgraded. This is gonna hurt. I'm probably gonna lose this tower here because I've got no nothing to heal it with. Unless I get another one just in time. Warning. Impact there imminent. We go. Now, when you're picking up the energy, you have to bear in mind, see if you're full, you'll still pick them up, but you won't get anything for it. Warning. So, Meteorite impact imminent. So it is ideal to sort of use them up while you can. Warning. Attackers approaching. Now, I am using the middle mouse wheel to sort of just scroll around the map like this. You can also do that, hold in the left mouse button, zoom in and out. If you go to the edge, it moves Meteorite a little bit slow. Good heavens. You'd think someone was directing these meteorites towards me. That really hurt. It can incredibly hurt. Forces approaching. See, so yeah, I technically could take this all down, put it up here. Like, because if I sell that, then they're going to go that way because it's quickest Warning. to get to the launch pad. Meteorite impact imminent. Or even have them just go there, try and shoot that, and then come around here to get shot at. Oh dear. Warning. Meteorite impact imminent. I wonder if that will hit that. It might not. I'm hoping it doesn't. I really hope it won't. It's gonna hit that. Warning. Meteorite impact imminent. Warning, human forces approaching. Again with the... I mean, hitting spacebar also pauses the game. You know, if you just want to run away from it and be like, No, no more. I've had enough. Also, really nice particle effects, except I'm 
going to lose these guys. Warning. Warning. Defense systems have been compromised. Damn it. Warning. Warning. Elite human unit spotted. Oh dear. Oh dear. If I mind right, this is actually the missile guy. Warning. Impact imminent. It's nice to see the indication of upload because that takes like two bits. This was about five yellow bars. That's going to get smacked. No, we're fine, don't worry, we're fine, or not. Officer is taking fire. Securing installation. Are they just gonna carry on or are they gonna walk around this? No, nope, they're going to Warning. Defense systems have been compromised. Good heavens. Warning, warning, defense systems have been compromised. Fire everything we have. Warning. Impact imminent. Area clear. Commencing yes. launch sequence. That was just a nice look at some of the elite units, actually. Well, folks, that's basically a normally in Defenders in a nutshell. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, but if you want to pick it up, there will be a link down below. It won't be to a Steam page, it will be to Games Republic page where you can pre order and all that good stuff. But thank you again for watching and smash look at Anomaly Defenders, and I shall see you all next time.